All right, what is up, everybody? Competent Gamer here, bringing you a brand new episode. This is my part two to my LSPDFR installation series. Today, we're going to be covering how to install OpenIV and, uh, and Natural Visions Evolved by Raise Mods. Now, first thing, uh, OpenIV is a really big, powerful tool that is used to uh, install .oiv files, which is crucial, is is required for um, natural visions evolved because it is an OIV file but there's also a tool that we use that uh, we use in order to install uh, gun models police car packs uh, ELS files so OpenIV is something that you're gonna need uh, in the future and I'll cover how to I'll cover how to install car packs and gun models in future episodes but since we do require for, for installing natural visions evolved it only makes sense to also cover how to install in this episode so all the links to these uh, to these two websites will be provided in the description box below but we're going to be starting with downloading OpenIV so once we go to this page you can read all, all the updates and the stuff whatever you want to about it but in order to download it, you want to click on this green download button right here and that will immediately start the the, uh, the download for the exe file now for natural visions evolved this is uh, behind a paywall it's it's through raised uh, patreon so it's only available for uh, gold members or higher there's also platinum but it's available from gold so the least you could uh, you have to spend for this mod is ten dollars uh, so if you don't have a patreon account you can just make one uh, link up a, a credit card to it or a debit card and then pledge those ten dollars and once you do uh, get that status and you refresh the page and everything you'll unlock patron post and one of these posts uh, is the download link for the newest uh, natural vision evolved uh, mod the most recent one is the July update I'm pretty sure a new one is coming in the next few days or so I could be completely wrong I have to look into that again um, but once you unlock this post you'll have a download link that will take you to the to another download link uh, so then you will cl click this download link and that will take you to another page where you can start actually downloading the file for Natural Visions Evolved. Now I already have this mod installed so I'm not going to click that but that's what you'll need to do in order to uh, to download it. So you'll hit that download button and the download will install and then I'll show you what to do next. So while on your end while Natural Visions Evolved is downloading we're going to click on this OVI setup here and start uh, setting up OpenIV. So for OpenIV is OpenIV is only uh, available in two languages, English and Russian. It's going to do a setup. You're just going to, you're just going to accept the terms of agreement. Okay, continue. Uh, create a desktop icon. Do whatever you want. Follow. Uh, install it where you want to install it. I'm fine with the default setting. Hit continue again, and then agree. It's going to start downloading and installing. And there you go. OpenIV has been successfully installed. So we're just going to close this out. Close out all this, and you'll see right here, OpenIV has been installed to our desktop. So once we click on this, since we are we are working with LSPDFR, uh, we're going to be and we're working from the PC version. We're going to click on Grand Theft Auto 5 for the Windows version, and it's going to it's going to want to it's going to prompt you for the location of your main directory. That's this directory here that we worked on in the last episode. So you want to link it to this pathway. So we're just going to hit Browse. And automatically for me, it's going to bring me to that pathway. It's going to bring me to the main directory. So I'm just going to hit select folder, and it'll prompt. It'll tell you that this location is it's fine. That OpenIV can work with this file location because that is in fact your main directory. So we're going to hit continue. It's going to give you a little prompt, and it's going to be loading up into uh, OpenIV with that directory. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. So once you uh, load into OpenIV, the first thing you're going to see is this new uh, like video to see what changes have been made to OpenIV. If you want to watch, go ahead. I personally don't. What I need for whatever changes have been made to OpenIV, I don't really notice them. It's been the same thing. It's been the same for me. Uh, from a, from a user perspective, it's been the same for the past I don't know how many years. But um, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about when you first look into this is that I know this may look a little bit confusing. So it, you know, don't don't get scared. It's pretty simple actually. If you actually notice this, this right here on OpenIV is just the same thing as our main directory. We have our execute code, our mod and plugins folder, and all of our x.rpf files at the bottom. This is just our main directory. So we basically use OpenIV to kind of like go through this and install different files, files that we can't install, that we can't properly install through the main directory, we would install through OpenIV. So two things that we need, or actually, uh, yeah, two things that we need to do 
uh, in OpenIV before we actually start working with Natural Visions Evolved is we need to load in some ASI files. So we need to click on Tools and ASI Manager. And here we need to install, as you can already see, I already have them installed, but we need to install ASI Loader and OpenIV.ASI. It tells you right here what these, uh, what these loaders and .ASI files do. But we need to make sure that both of these are installed because this is going to be really important not only for Natural Visions Evolved but for also installing different uh, mods in the future using OpenIV and I'll get into that in a later episode. You also have the option to install the open camera which uh, enhances the, the limitations of the camera. It kind of like makes it, it, it makes it available so that when you're in Rockstar Editor you can push the camera farther than, than the base game would allow you. I personally don't really care for it that much. I use uh, Rockstar Editor to make my thumbnails for, for uh, LSP Defaro episodes, but I'm fine with the default settings. I don't really need to install this, so I'm not going to, but if you want to, you're more than welcome to. So with that out of the way, we can actually now start uh, working with Natural Visions Evolved. So I'm going to click on this zip file. And here we can see a bunch of files. Now the README, you know, if you want to read it, go right ahead, but that's that's why this installation video is here for you, so you don't have to read this. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder, and we're going to extract all four of these files into that new folder. Now I've already done this. So I just I, I named it NVE for Natural Visions Evolved, and I suggest you do the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to open this folder, and we're also going to open our main directory. Okay. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to let's just work our way down. We're going to click on ENB, and here we get to choose which uh, graphics setting we want to use uh, Natural Visions Evolved in. We have low settings, which essentially you know it changes the graphics, but it also makes it also makes sure that you're you don't get hit with an FPS drop, so that your FPS typically stay around the same range as as if you were in the base game. Medium settings, you'll see some uh, FPS drops, which this is where usually what I work with, and then ultra settings, you'll definitely see a, 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 an FPS drop because it's going to be a huge uh, graphical change to the game. Um, I'm rocking a 2070 Super, so I, I don't know if my game's going to be able to handle this, but just just for just to show you guys, I will I will run um, I will run uh, the ultra settings. So what you're gonna do is, so what you would do here is you would pick whichever one you wanted, uh, whichever setting you want to work with, ultra, medium, or uh, or low. They all have the exact same files, just different settings. So I'm gonna work with ultra. I'm just gonna click, gonna hold on, you're gonna highlight those, copy them, go into your main directory, and paste. And there they are. And then backing out of there, we're gonna go to our main files, and all we need to do. Actually, I think we might be missing a file. Let me just look real quick. Yeah, there we go. We need both of these files here. For some reason, they didn't get copied when we moved this over to a different file. But anyways, we need we need these two. We need the uh, the time cycles. We don't need the dinput 8.dll because we already have this from an earlier install. Uh, and they're and they're actually the exact same file, so it doesn't really matter. So the ones we do need are these two, the time cycle mods. I'm just going to highlight and drag and drop and there they are uh, now that we're out of here we can click out of our main directory and natural visions evolved has the the main required files the graphic setting files have been installed but now we actually have to install the mod itself through the installer and the add-ons now most of these are dot oiv files and that's what we need uh, open iv for so we're going to close out of here and we're going to hit open iv now in order to install these dot oiv files we need to click over here on tools and we need to hit on the package installer. Alternatively, we can also just hit this button here, since this is the open package installer button that's found up here. So whichever one works for you is so you can either hit tools, hit package installer, or you can hit this button here with the blue, red, and green buttons. So we'll click on that. And we're actually gonna go to our desktop NVE. And we're going to go right here. The first thing we need to install is the Natural Vision Installer. This is the OIV file that installs Natural Visions Evolved. So we're going to click on this, and we're going to be prompted with this install here. It's going to tell you, it's going to let you know that this is the July 2020 build. It's a work in progress. Uh, these are some things that are ha that are not complete or not finalized, and this is just like some rather some other information. So we're just going to click on the install button here. 
and we're gonna always gonna install this into the mods folder like I've said in the previous video we want to make sure that we don't bring these mods into GTA online if we ever play in GTA, GTA online because we don't want to get banned uh, by Rockstar we don't want to get flagged so we always install mods into the mods folder so we're gonna click on mods and we're gonna shoot we're gonna click install all right and at this point natural vision evolved has been fully installed however there are also some optional files that we can uh, install in order to tweak our game and make it a little bit uh, more visually appealing and I'll show you how to do that in just a bit okay now that we're back to our NV folder we'll notice that we have one folder here that we didn't touch it's the optional add-ons folder and what this has it has a bunch of different uh, like OIV installers uh, in order to add different things to the game and the last one it has here so we have all these are all like things we can add to our game to like make it look a little bit better we have an ad uh, additional car an add-on car that we can add to our excuse me that we can add to our game and then here we have the natural visions uninstaller so we had the installer here here we go we had the installer here now this is the uninstaller so if we wanted to remove natural visions evolved we would run this OIV file now it looks a little confusing because there are a lot of different folders but all of these basically are just folders that say you know what you do or don't want to add to the game and if you do want to add them what it does is it has an install and an uninstall OIV file so if you wanted to install the new street lamps which basically turns the street lamps from yellow to blue you would run the install OIV file and you would play in the game for as long as you want and if you wanted to get rid of it you would run the uninstall file so I'm gonna be working with the uh, the new street lights the brighter emergency lights and I think that's it I don't really want any of this other stuff I'm fine with the default trash I don't want to hide the weapons reticle right now but for now I think we're just gonna do the street lights and the brighter emergency lights and I'll show you how to do that so if we actually go over here to open IV and we hit on the packet installer again we just go here and let's go to the new street lights oh what did I just do there we go go to the new street lights and we would run the install OIV file uh, so we're just gonna install that. We're gonna click over here on this install button. Again, we're gonna install it to the mods folder. Confirm installation, and we're just gonna let that run its thing. And there we go. Now we have the tr we have the option to run Grand Theft Auto 5 right now, but we're not done yet. We still want to install more add-ons. Okay, the second thing I want to install is the brighter emergency lights for LSPDFR. Now you'll also notice that this one comes with the performance boost. What it does is it takes the bright emergency lights and this performance boost and it puts them into one installer. So this might be something that they'll get rid of uh, in a future update where they just get rid of this one because it's already included here. Or maybe you know if you don't want the bright emergency lights but you do want the performance boost then they're already separated. But I'm going to hit this one and I'm going to hit this one and I'm going to hit the install because I want to install the brighter emergency lights plus the performance boost. And so as we're here, it's going to increase the intensity of all emergency lights. Uh, it's going to remove some excessive glow, and it also comes with the boost, uh, the performance boost add-on, which will improve uh, FPS. So we're going to hit the install button into the mods folder again. We don't want to get banned, and we're going to hit install, and we're going to hit close. Now at this point, for me personally, I am already done with this. I don't want to install anything else. If you do want to install all these other things, I personally don't use 5M or Rage MP. I don't uh, play LSPDFR like um, uh, multiplayer, uh, so or in, in those like settings. So I never look at those. If you want to, I suggest looking elsewhere. And then other than this stuff, I don't want to change the alternate star field because I do enjoy the. Uh, the Milky Way that's provided in the game. I don't want to change the trash because I think that just adds something that to, that I'm really not going to notice. Uh, and then I do like the wet roads effect, so I'm going to keep that there. In addition, just for the tutorial sake, I'm also going I'm also going to go uh, install go ahead and install the uh, custom car that's included with this mod, just because I know some people are pretty interested in that. So we're going to hit the package installer. And we're going to work. I'm going to install that uh, hyper sport car. And it'll let us know here that this is the the game. This is the the vehicle. It's in high quality. This is the spawn name for the vehicle, and we can spawn it using a trainer. So we already have simple trainer installed. So we'll install we'll uh, spawn that vehicle once we get in game. So we're gonna hit install into the mods folder and confirm. Okay. And with that installed, we can exit out of this folder here, and we can exit out of OpenIV. And I want to show you something that a lot of people have had a problem with, and I don't think that they realize this. Natural Visions Evolved works similarly to the way Rage Plug and Hook 
uh, works in that the ENB series and the Rage plugin hook will both try to attach their, themselves to the game instance at the same time. And this is what happens. Uh, this this will crash the game. So if you just let's say if you wanted to play LSP Defar with uh, with Natural Visions Evolved, as I've done in my previous episodes, if you click on Rage plugin hook to run LSP Defar, your game is going to crash because both uh, Natural Visions Evolved and Rage Plugin Hook are hooking onto GTA 5 at the exact same time, and the game just can't handle that. So what you need to do instead, instead of running uh, Rage Plugin Hook, we first need to run Grand Theft Auto 5. So we'll click on Grand Theft Auto 5 and let that run first. And what that will do, that will run the E and B series without uh, letting Rage Plugin Hook hook onto the game. So, and what you and you'll know that um, that you installed ENB proper or Natural Visions Evolved properly if you get this load up screen, the Natural Visions Evolved load up screen. And if you have this if you have this popping up in, in your screen, you know that you successfully installed Natural Visions Evolved. And at this point, the ENB uh, series for Natural Vision Evolved has hooked onto the game instance. And what we can do is once we get to the uh, to the startup menu, when we can uh, change our settings and change um, and, uh, and and you know load into the game this is where we can uh, this is where we can actually hit rage plug and hook in order to uh, into in order to load that in as well so we're gonna hit alt tab and then we're gonna click on rage plug and hook and then we're gonna let that game we're gonna let that hook onto the game instance just give it a minute it's gonna validate the hook load up everything and go to the bottom left corner and now we can go back to Grand Theft Auto 5. And when we hit story mode, it's going to be it's going to start loading into Rage Plugin Hook. So that is how you get around that crash. You can't have both the ENB series and Rage Plugin Hook hook onto the game instance at the exact same time cuz it's going to be too much for the game to handle and it's going to crash. All right everybody, now if you made if you managed to get through that workaround, you should be greeted uh, with LSP DFR working properly and NVE installed, you'll notice that the game looks a little bit crisper, a little bit more sharper. Uh, you can notice that the lights are a little bit more brighter. You can notice that the uh, the ground here, especially like the brick layout, are a little, is a little bit more textured, and the game just has a bit of a, a sharper, clearer feel. Now, again, this I'm running the ultra settings, so I'm, I get a pretty nasty dip in, in frames. Uh, typically, with the medium, medium settings that I usually run for my own LSP DFR series, I see about 60 to 70 frames per second. Depends where I am, if I'm in the city, if I'm in the county, if I'm running in a pursuit. But I usually get around 60 to 70 frames per second. Right here in Vespucci Beach, just walking around, I'm getting about 39 to 45 frames per second. So it's a pretty, pretty nasty dip in, uh, in frames. Of course, this really, uh, this your the graphic settings really comes down to a uh, your hardware. Shut up. That really comes down to uh, oh. These guys want to fucking fight. Shut up. Um, that really comes your your choice really comes down to your uh, your hardware, the, the the kind of hardware that you have if you're even able to uh, to run the mod, and your preference if you want the. Because it's really, it really is a struggle between graphics and and performance. Because you can have like really, really nice graphics, but you'll have a nasty dip in uh, in performance. Or you can have a slight change to your graphics, but maintain the same frames. So it really comes down to what you want to do. So two things that I want to, or three things that I want to uh, highlight in this uh, video here is the uh, the new custom vehicle, the new hyper uh, the hyper sport vehicle that we installed. So let's go to vehicle spawning. Search for vehicles, and I believe the code was W M L Y K A N. And here is the Hypersport car from uh, Natural Visions Evolved. And you'll notice that with NV installed, the reflections, uh, kind of like the, the shine to the cars, are much more pronounced. And you'll even notice, you'll notice that too in the default cars as well. Uh, so let's actually make it nighttime because you can actually tell you uh, the, this mod does add a lot of differences to the daytime But I personally like how the game feels uh, or how the game looks at in the nighttime with envy installed So we're gonna use the trainer here gonna change it to uh, evening There we go And this is what the game would look like at nighttime with all the uh, with NV installed. Now I'm also gonna give myself a wanted level so we can see how the uh, brighter lights for LSP Defar looks. Um, 
on the default police cars. Now, obviously, the the bright the lights will be brighter like on the bars themselves, but there won't actually be a lot of uh, reflection. A lot of reflection on like on the on the floor, on the street, or on the on the buildings. That you won't get that unless you install a lighting graphics mod like Radiance Five. Uh, which I'll show in a, in a later video when I cover how to install LSPDF or how to install ELS. But if you actually look at the cars themselves, you can see that the lights on the actual bars are pretty bright. But there's no reflection. You see a little bit of reflection on the cars, but nothing like on the on the buildings. It's it's pretty it's pretty minimal. I'm gonna make my way towards the uh, the eastern highway going into Sandy Shores, so I can show you what the what the different lights like the the blue lights you, you'll notice them a little bit in the city but they're much more you actually can notice them here a little bit on the floor but they're much more pronounced on the highway all right everybody and if you look at the, if you actually look at the uh, at the eastern highway right now you can actually see the difference between uh the new lights in nve and the uh, default lights so the new lights change the lights to blue uh whereas the default lights stay uh yellow kind of like an orange bit um, as it is in, in, in the in the default game. However, because of the performance booster that we have, uh, our draw distance is a little bit lower. So you'll notice that this light uh, post right here just turned blue, whereas those farther uh, further on in the highway are uh, are still yellow. As we make our way closer to those uh, lights, you'll actually notice that they start turning. Uh, like the game will will render that and it'll realize hey these are supposed to be blue and it'll load that in however because our draw distance is so low you see those are changing right there because our draw distance is so low because of the performance booster that's how far the draw distance becomes all right everyone and this is what the uh the night sky in the in the county ends up looking like we have a bit of a, a glow coming from uh from the moon right now it's bit of an it's a new moon so we can't really like see the actual moon itself but if we actually like kind of look towards the uh to the north a bit we start seeing the milky way and this is just a beautiful addition that uh natural visions evolved makes to the base uh to the base game we start seeing like all these stars here now if you're not a fan of the milky way if this is like too much for you you don't really like it there is the alternate uh star field add-on in the optional add-ons folder they can install which gets rid of the milky way and it just scatters stars all over the place kind of like it looks over there so you'll get kind of it'll make it look kind of like this we have like a bit of a a lot of different like stars in the sky if you're not a fan of the milky way i personally really enjoy how the milky way uh looks like so i leave it as i leave it with the default game i, I leave it as the uh, as the default setting all right, everybody, that's going to wrap up the tutorial for today. If you did enjoy that, please drop a like. And if you have any questions, if I left you confused at any point during this tutorial, please drop your questions in the comments below. I will get to them as quickly as I can because I do want to help you guys to make sure you guys install this properly. If uh, you're one of the if you're one of those people who, uh, if you don't have like a, a, a powerful enough computer to run Natural Visions Evolved, I do apologize that this video wasn't as helpful for you as other videos will be. Um, but hopefully, you know, you do get the hardware at some point in the future and you are able to run this mod because it does, it is a really nice mod. And you can use it not only for LSPDFR, but you can also use it for story mode as well. Um, next episode is going to be uh, how to install ELS, how to install a lighting graphical or a lighting graphics mod. So like Radiance 5, so you get brighter lights and you get more reflections like on, uh, on the side of buildings and on the streets. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to install uh, custom police vehicles, so like how to install like real Crown Victorias, Ford Explorers, sh uh, sh Dodge Chargers. I'm going to be showing you how to install all that. Uh, the technique is pretty simple, but some people do still find it a little bit confusing. Uh, but again, the technique is it can, it can be applied to any car pack unless, unless you're using add-on cars. I personally don't know how to do that. I personally don't like doing that. I find it, uh, I find it tedious. But, you know, so I'm going to be covering how to install, like, regular car packs, not, like, uh, any, uh, any add-on cars. Um, I'm also going to be covering uh, some of the bugs that have, some of the texture bugs that happens when you install, like, high-quality, like, 4K textures for your police vehicles. And I'm also going to show you how to fix uh, some handling line, handling line issues. So, like, if you installed a F uh, Ford Explorer, like an SUV into a sedan slot and then you take a sharp turn and you'll notice that your car is like gonna it's just gonna like start spinning and flip out I'm gonna show you how to fix that so hopefully you know hopefully you guys are, are excited for that and that video will be coming out pretty soon like I said I'm in college now so my schedule is getting a little bit busier but I am gonna try to uh, upload uh, videos at a consistent rate you know, if you enjoyed the video drop a like you know drop the questions if you have any and please subscribe if you're new and if you want to hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload that next uh, the next uh, tutorial 
So with all that said, this has been Competent Gaming. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.